Now let us see some examples where we have to find out the nth term or some 8 term, 9 term, 10 term, whatever it is. Whereas the, the examples in which the Tn is involved, the nth term is involved. Okay. Let us fee, uh, see few examples. Just before that I want to tell you that if the d is 0, then this sequence is a constant sequence or this arithmetic progression is a constant. Because when d is 0, the first number will replicate n number of times. Right? Now, while solving this, I hope you remember the formula Tn is equal to a plus a minus 1 into d. I hope you remember this formula. So, let us see a few solved examples. The sum of major of angles of triangle is 180. Okay? Now, of a quadrilateral is 360. Triangle, three sides. Quadrilateral, four sides. Of a pentagon, five sides, is 540 degrees. And so on. Assuming this pattern, find a sum of the majors of the angles of dodecagon. Dodecagon means the polygon which has got the 12 sides. Right? So, let us solve this example. This is the nth term these are the number of sides and angle, angle sum, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. The first is triangle, the addition is 180, second is quadrilateral, the addition is 360, then it comes pentagon, the addition is 540 and so on we have to find for 12 sides. 12 sides means we have to find out the 10th term. We have to find out the 10th term. So, in this case what is A? What is A? We have to find this. What will be A? A will be equal to 180. And what is the D equal to? 180. So, in this case, my A is 180. My common difference, that is the difference between these terms, is 180 again. So, I, will, I have to find out T10. Now, don't get confused in this. Many students make confusion in the number of sides and term number. See, the first term is of three sides. So, for 12 sides, you need a 10th term. Okay? Don't make confusion. M many students find out the T T12 instead of T10. Here, you don't have to find out the T12. T 12 is the number of sides, dodecagon. But uh, you have to find out the Tn, that is the nth term. N is 10 here and not 12. This is the common mistake students do in this kind of exam. And so, this example is again a favorite because 100% students make mistake in this. Okay? So, remember this thing. So, what is our formula? A plus n minus 1 into D that is 180 plus 10th term mean 9 into 180. Can you solve this quickly? Many students will solve this First, they will multiply 180 into 9 and then they will add 180 to it. Right? This is the way you, will, you are going to solve this? No. The simplified calculations. Can you see plus sign is there? 180 is common. So, 180 is common. 1 plus 9. So, 180 into 10. You don't have to even multiply. Even the multiplication is not required in this case. Not only your arithmetic, that means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division should be firm and solid. But you should use your brain, you should use your common sense and you should use your knowledge of the mathematics everywhere. So, unnecessary, don't multiply 180 by 9 and then add 80. Okay? 9 times 180 and plus 1 time, that is 10 times 180. Find Tn and hence T15 of the following AP. The arithmetic progression they are given 3, 8, 13, 18.
we have been we have to find tn and t15 very simple what is a in this case a is equal to 3 what is d in this case d is equal to 5 so tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that is 3 plus n minus 1 into 5 let us solve this 3 plus 5n minus 5 so i'll say 5n minus 2 is tn and hence t15 will be 5 into 15 minus 2 so my answer is 73 extremely simple example show that the nth or natural number is 2n minus 1 nth or natural number which is the first in the arithmetic progression of odd number what is the first digit first number is 1 and what will be the common difference is 2 because we have odd numbers 1 3 5 7 9 and so on so what will be the n t n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d i am again and again writing this uh, formula so that uh, you will get by heart so 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 so 1 plus 2 n minus 2 so 2 n minus 1 so t n is equal to 2 n minus 1 very easy isn't it let us see one more we are we are going to see different kinds of example and then we'll move ahead to 1.3 then find find n if the nth term of the following sequence is 68 one sequence is given 5 8 11 14 5 8 11 14 they say that find n if the nth term that is tn is equal to 68 and we have to find n now in this case what is a is equal to 5 what is d is equal to 3 and my tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d but we know that my tn is 68 so a is 5 n minus 1 into 3 so only n is unknown and you can easily find the value of n, n. 5 plus 3n minus 3 that is 3n plus 2 is equal to 68 so n is equal to 66 upon 3 is 22 so n is equal to 22 that means the 22nd term is 68 so you have to write the answer in full full sentence the 22nd term of this arithmetic progression is 68 okay let us see next one if the 10th term and 18th term of ap are 25 and 41 they say that 10th term is 25 and 18th term is 41 find the following the first term and common difference now in this case we don't know and we don't know common difference the both the things we have to find out then we have to find out the t38 term and third thing we have to find out n such that we have to find the n such that the nth term is 99 that means we have to find out the tn is equal to 99 if find n these things we have to find out very easy not difficult at all what is the formula see in this case from here we will get one equation from here we will get one equation in two variables we can solve those two equations simultaneously and we will get the value of a and d once we get the value of a and d we can easily find out t38 
Once we find out the value of a and d, we can easily find out the n for which tn is equal to 99. So let us solve this. tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Hence, t10 is equal to a plus 10 minus 1 d. What is t10? Is 25. So, a plus 9d is equal to 25 is my first equation. Then t18 is equal to a plus d. Then so we have a plus 17d is equal to 41. This is my second equation. So, you have to solve these two equations simultaneously and you will get the value of a and d both. How will you solve? If you subtract, a will automatically get cancelled from these two and you will get the d and substitute d in any equation, any of these two equations and you will get the value of a. So, pause your video here and quickly find out the value of a and d. Do it now. Here, a is equal to 7 and d is equal to 2. The answer what we get is a is equal to 7 and d is equal to 2. Now, once you get the a and d, it is very easy to find the value of t38. What will be t38 then? Is equal to 7 plus 38 minus 1 into 2. So, 7 plus 37 into 2. Just quickly solve this. Now we have to find a third part of this example. We have to find the n for which tn is equal to 99. They say that tn is equal to 99. Find the value of n. So we have 99 is equal to 7 plus n minus 1 into 2. So 7 plus 2n minus 2. So 2n plus 5 is equal to 99. You have to find the value of n. Quickly find the value of n. The value of n is 47. Don't forget to write all three answers at the end of the sum. Answer 1, 2 and 3 in full sentences. Okay. One more type of example. How many terms are there in the AP? 187, the AP they are given 187, 194, 201 and so on. Last term they are given 439. In this case, we have to find out the number of terms in this AP. Whereas the last term is this. What is the last term? That is TN. So, TN is 439 and we have to find out the N. In this case, A is equal to 187 and D is equal to 7. How will you find out the D? Take any two consecutive numbers and subtract. So, you will get the D. So, what is our equation? TN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So, we want, now this TN is 439. A is equal to 187 plus n minus 1 into 7. So quickly find out the value of n. This is just arithmetical calculations. Solve this equation and you will get the value of n. Find it out. Pause your video please. n is 37. So you have to write the answer like there are 37 terms as this is the last term. So, you should say that there are 37 terms in this arithmetic progression. We have seen these examples. Let us move to exercise 1.3. Thank you. So, friends, we have learned this topic thoroughly. We have solved some examples for practice. But we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set, then the hots, some paper solutions, everything we are going to solve. For further solution of exercises and problem set, please purchase our DVD.
You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.